Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply Eostar search algorithm on the given and or graph and how to find the optimal value as well as the optimal path for the given root node. In the previous videos, I have discussed and or search algorithm as well as the numerical examples. Link for those videos is given in the description below. In this case, uh, we have been given the following and or graph where A is the goal node. In this case, uh, we need to find the optimal value of this particular root node as well as we need to find the optimal path here. Now, if I want to solve the root node, we need to identify the possible paths here. In this case, uh, there are two paths are available. The one path is towards uh, BC, another path is towards CD here. Because we have AND here, we need to solve both B and C. Then only I will be able to solve A here. Similarly, if I able to solve C and D, then I will be able to solve A here. So, first uh, we will see the cost for both of these uh, paths here. For this uh, path B and C, uh, we need to find the cost here. The cost is calculated using this uh, formula that is F of N is equal to uh, G of N plus H of N in this case, where G of N is the actual cost and H of N is the heuristic value here. So, to calculate the cost for BC, the G of N is equal to 1 and H of N is equal to 3 for this uh, arrow. For this particular arrow, it is 1 plus 4 here. That is 1 plus 3 plus 1 plus 4, which is equal to 9. Similarly, for this uh, path, that is CD, it will be 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 5, that is equal to 11 in this case. So, for the left path or BC, we got 9 as the cost. For right path, or you can say, CD, we got 11 as the cost in this case. Now, between these two, 9 is the better option. So, what we do is uh, we will explore this uh, path and then we will try to get the final value of this particular root node here. Now, uh, if you want to solve B and C, C is already solved because we don't have any further nodes here. But uh, if you want to solve B, uh, we need to solve either E or F in this case because uh, uh, these, there is nothing called as AND here. Either we need to solve E or F in this case. To solve E, again we need to calculate the cost here. That will be 1 plus 5 which is be equal to 6 here. For F, it will be 1 plus 7 which is equal to 8 in this case. That is uh, 6 and 8 are the cost for these two paths in this case. Between 6 and 8, 6 is the better option. So the previous heuristic value was 3 which will be replaced with 6 in this case. Now we have modified the heuristic value of B here. So we need to modify the heuristic value of A also because while calculating the heuristic value or the cost of A, we have considered the previous heuristic value of B in this case. Now, if you consider the new heuristic value that is 6, it will become 1 plus 6 that is 7, 1 plus 4 that will be equal to 5 here, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 in this case. Now the new heuristic value is 12. So, the previous heuristic value that is 9 is replaced with 12. The new heuristic or the cost of A for this path is equal to 12 in this case. Now, if you compare 12 and 11, 11 is the best option. So, we try to explore the right hand side or the right path and see whether we are going to get the best uh, cost on the right hand side here. Again, the right side uh, path contains CD here. Uh, for this one, uh, we know already the cost which is equal to 11. For C, there is nothing need to be calculated because this is the last node here. But for D, if you want to solve D, we need to solve both G and H in this case. Because there is a AND in this case. Now, if you want to solve G and H, the cost is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 4 which is equal to 10 in this case. Now, this is the new heuristic value or the cost of uh, D here. So, we replace the previous heuristic value that is 5 with 10 in this case. Because we have modified the cost of the heuristic value of D, we need to modify the heuristic or the cost of A also. That will be 1 plus 4 plus 1 plus 10, which is equal to 16 in this case. So, the 11 will be replaced with 16. The new heuristic or the cost of this particular A is equal to 16 in this case. Now, we have explored both the paths. For the left sub path, or you can say that for BC, we are getting 12 as the cost. For CD, we are getting 16 as the cost here. Between these two, 12 is the best value or you can say the least one. So, we can say that the optimal value of this root node is equal to 12 in this case. 
and the path will be uh, if you want to solve this uh, root node a we need to solve bc here so first uh, if you want to solve a we need to solve bc c is already solved as i said earlier if you want to solve b either we need to solve e or f in this case uh, at this particular point of time if you want to solve b e is the best option because for this particular path the cost is equal to 6 in this case so if you solve e in turn you have solved b if you solve b and c in turn you have solved a in this case so this is how we will be able to get the path in this uh, case with the optimal value of uh, the root node is equal to 12 in this case so this is simplest process uh, with which uh, you will be able to get the optimal value for the root node as well as the optimal path using AO star search algorithm i hope the concept of AO star search algorithm is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching